got this old knife here. I'm cleaning it up. Now, I almost was just going to throw it in the, in the cell pile. Because it was dirty and stuff. It's got a bunch of blades in there. I mean, they're still usable. They're just dirty. No big deal. So, I got to clean it up. And made in USA. And I, th Well, first I thought, well, I'll keep it because it's kind of handy. I'll just hang it, put a nail and hang it up right here. And I thought, well, I'll just clean it up too. So, I got to clean it up. Um, this has, let me get a light on. See that? Inscribed in it, Joe Williams. That was her dad. He inscribed, he's got an engraving tool, well, which I now have. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up, and I'm going to keep this, and I'll show Monkey. I think that's really, really cool. So, uh, I'm going to get to, I got the other part over there. It's halfway clean. So, just kind of give you an idea of what it looks like now. We'll go ahead and clean it up. I'm going to keep them blades in there. I mean, they're new. They're not new, but they've, they've never been used. So, uh, let me get this cleaned up. And then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. I think Monkey will think this is very neat. old trick we used to do back in school with our class rings when they would get real dull inside there. Use real thin black paint. Okay, let's put this thing back together. Got these blades cleaned up a little bit. I didn't spend a whole lot of time on the blades. <laughs> this one turned out really nice. this I didn't paint it or anything I just heated it up soaked it in oil let it set in oil until it dried or I mean till it cooled so I hot blued it bluing there we go it's kinda but it's an old knife I didn't want to try to bend that back together I was afraid I'd break it in half but go Let's back out a little bit here's a picture of it before and here's after I think it turned out pretty decent. I only spent, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half on it. You know, it's all on what you want to spend on something like this. If I wanted to 
you know, sand it and everything. But I didn't want to mess with that. I could have sanded the rest of it. If I really wanted to sand it and get all the nicks out of it, it'd be really pretty. But I wanted to keep the nicks in it. I just wanted to clean it up and make it a little more presentable. So, I like that. Made in USA. Blades inside. So, Ardell. There's the number on it. So, it's pretty cool. So, I think Monkey will like that. But I'm going to hang it on a little nail right over here. So, I cleaned up my pliers a little bit there. Buff them out. These I didn't spend a lot of time with. I just hit them with the wire wheel and buffed it a little bit just to make them a little more nicer. Okay, guys, so there I think Monkey will like that knife. And like I said, I didn't want to get all the nicks and scratches out of it. Hell, you know, he used this stuff, you know. And uh, that's why he gave it to me. He knew it would take care of his things for him. Nice and smooth. But it's still got his name on there. Where you at? Let me turn this light off here. There go. Joe Williams. There it is. Nice looking knife. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Gone for now. Bye bye guys. We'll see you soon. How many of you guys were screaming at the camera? Or at the TV screen or computer screen or your phone screen going, You forgot to put the blade in! Well, one of you screamed loud enough because I heard you. There you go.